Governor Tate Reeves has signed four bills into law that will bring some changes to law enforcement in Mississippi. 12 News senior political correspondent Richard Lake joins us live now from the state capitol. And Richard, what are these new laws? What will they do? Well, Melanie, families of first responders who lost their loved ones in the line of duty will be better taken care of because of two bills signed into law today. There's also an added layer of accountability over Mississippi police officers. Governor Tate Reeves signed several pieces of law enforcement centered legislation into law Monday afternoon. Two of them focused on families of law enforcement. Families of deceased law enforcement officers can now receive the officer's salary for up to 60 days. And those enrolled in the law enforcement officers and firefighters death benefits trust fund will be receiving a larger payout. We want the people not only in our state but all across the country to know that uh, if you put on the uniform in the great state of Mississippi, uh, your state government's going to have your back. Another bill strengthens a crucial aspect of law enforcement training and accountability. House Bill 691 revises the State Board on Law Enforcement Officer Standards and Training. The board that trains and provides officer certificates can now investigate alleged instances of misconduct and even terminate an officer's certification. The vast majority of, of officers appreciate the fact that there are not only more training opportunities but also standards and accountability uh, for, for all of those officers because that's the best way for the system to work. Really gives the board some teeth to look into misconduct issues if there are any and um, you know if they find something they can pull your law enforcement certificate. Representative Fred Shanks authored this legislation. He represents Rankin County, where six deputies and officers known as the Goon Squad tortured Michael Jenkins and Eddie Parker and have since been sentenced to federal prison time. Had they had their training you know, for several years, you know, could something like that have been prevented? I think so. Absolutely. For the officer, they're going to be better trained. For the department, they're going to get a better product. And even for the citizens, they're going to get a better police officer. So it's a total win all the way around the state. Now, that legislation also mandates that Governor Reeves appoint six members to that officer training board. Reporting live from the state capitol, Richard Lake, 12 News.